So Ryo here, welcome back to another budget build guys. Today we're doing it on equities. This is like a high roll build, it's really fun. I can't wait to show you guys, let's get into it. So to start off, we got our new Nova starter, Full Moon Muscle, he looks so cool. So starting off our triggers, we run six draw because we need to hit our pieces because if we don't hit those, we won't put enough pressure on to kill our opponent and go in for that final high roll turn. So after that, we're running six front because we need to hit them in drive checks to get multiple attacks with our boss card. And as well, we need this to be able to have it in our hand for Bengal skill as well, which we'll talk about later. And then finishing off our triggers, we got four heal. You don't really have to run four heal. You could remove them for a more aggressive build, but I just like to run the heal. So starting off with our grade ones, we run four grit Bengal because you need him to put front triggers from your hand on top of your deck so that you can get those fronts for big multiple attacks and just ridiculous numbers. After that, we're running three trans riser as a tech because there will be the odd time where you literally just need one more CB because you're at one with your boss card and you need to be able to CB2 for it. So we definitely want to run three of these and it's an 11k booster just by using that Soul Blast 2 skill. So it's very useful. So secondly, the most important grade one in the entire deck, Silver Fist. Silver Fist is going to give us an additional 5k when we check a front trigger. And then on top of that on V, when his attack hits, you can draw a card and discard a card. So he's great for filtering and then we're also going to be able to make our power high enough to meet certain skills which we'll talk about later. So on to the grade 2 lineup, we're running 4 Brutal Jack because he's a 19k swinger. You do have to rest 2 units to re-stand him during your stand phase but you typically don't want to call this guy until you're going into like a 2xl incise turn or like a full board because then you don't have to worry about re-standing him because you're going to be killing them that turn anyway. But Brutal Jack has a lot of good situations that you can use him in, especially as a grade 2 Vanguard ride, because he's going to be swinging for 19, and then your Vanguard will still be able to restand the next turn. So it's a really great card. Highly recommend running 4. Next, we run 3 Odd Puncher, because when you check a front trigger, this thing gets a crit. So combining that with Silver Fist just makes your rows really scary, and then you have one unit that can swing for a crit, and if you get two of these, then you have two units that can swing a crit and a bunch of attacks, which is really scary. And for our final grade two slot, we're running four Stylish Hustler because not only can he save your rear guards from being retired, so this helps us fight against retired decks, it's mostly for the on R gets plus 3k for every card in your damage zone because this makes him a big swinger and then we can restand him with our boss cards in our deck like Incise and the card we're going to talk about in a little bit. So to start off our grade threes, we're running two Singe because he gives himself a drive check by discarding a card, which isn't bad because we can just CB1, get rid of something we don't want, and then be able to get a drive check. And the nice thing about Singe is if we have a full board, like let's say we have like an Incise over here and we have our Singe, then we can swing with Singe first and then give everything plus 10 plus whatever additional front pluses we get with Silver Fist and then swing with incise after swinging with those two units in the front row to stand them up or if we have equities which is going to be the card we're going to talk about in the next few minutes he for cb2 will be able to stand up everything with 20k or power greater so you can use singe when you have bengal to be able to put the front trigger on top of your deck with bengal and then you swing with singe purposely giving your entire front row plus like 15 to 20, 25k, depending on how many silver fists you have on the field. And then you swing with everything and then you swing with equities and then stand them up. And then if you get another front, they just get even bigger. So it's just really good. You definitely want to run to Singe. So for our next grade three slot, we got our secondary Vanguard, Incise Riser. So he's really great because just when he attacks, you just CB1 and stand up everything in your Excel circles. So that's guaranteeing us at least one or two restands, depending on how many Excel circles you have. So he's a great backup Vanguard, and you can literally just win games on this, even though the point of the deck is for us to win with equities. He's such a great backup. And to finish off the build, we got our boss card, equities. You run that at four. And the reason we run equities is because when he's done attacking a Vanguard, you can CB2, stand up everything with 20k power or greater. So the great thing about this is if we use this in conjunction with Silver Fist and Bengal and the Singe combo that we just talked about, that's the single drive rear unit, you can do a lot of crazy combos and get a lot of front trigger power and then be able to stand everything up. 
basically you're going to get five attacks with a full board and then on top of that you're going to get an additional four to five attacks depending on how many cell circles you have so it's just a really devastating turn and if you manage to get two fronts it just completely obliterates your opponent it's just super amazing super fun deck really awesome i highly recommend building it well guys thanks for watching make sure to stand up that like button if you liked it dislike if you disliked it make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get all our notifications and as always guys let the wind blow